I want to get to detailing this castle. But first, there's something else that I've wanted to do for a while. First, we're gonna stash my nice gear and also, oh, I have so many things to dump into storage. Now, the real question is, where did I, what? Where did I stash the junky backup armor after our expedition to the ancient city? And let's see, is my junky, okay, okay, it, maybe? Quick little detour. With that business concluded, on we go. Yeah, you guessed it. We are spending some time in the nether from the get-go today, so this should be fun. We're going to enter the nether proper through the hole in the roof to the guardian farm stuff. Ooh, this looks cool. In my time playing Minecraft, I have been in a grand total of one bastion. Oh, speaking of... However, it was a very much already raided bastion. Which I kind of feel like this one is probably as well. Maybe, I don't know. I should have... I should have blocks in my inventory before doing this. We're gonna build ourselves a little bit of a safe room and grab the gilded blackstone while we're here. Let's put in a respawn anchor, and I've never actually fully charged a respawn anchor before, so here it goes. There we go. Now we have to figure out the best way to get down into this bastion. The one that I have been in in the past is right by my starter base and was very clearly raided. It doesn't sound like there are any brutes around, so I'm kind of getting the feeling that somebody already raided this one. I'm gonna go fast, be ready to stack up. There's a lodestone, I'll take that. I already don't know where I came from. You know, I didn't actually set my respawn point at it. There we go. Sheesh, that could have been really bad make this as safe as we can. Nothing, nothing worthwhile in there. Okay, cool. I think that's about it as far as this bastion goes. I think I've seen pretty much everything in it. Grab our things, pack our bags. That's gonna go sit in our ender chest now. So we wanna keep going north. Oh, this looks like newly generated area. The lava's only just dropping, okay. Cool. So, next bastion we see should not be raided and will also be absolutely terrifying. That's a ruined portal in the nether? I didn't know you could get such a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a bastion. Oh dear. Okay, we're gonna come in to this spot up above it actually. I'm going to double check, make sure there are no brutes up here. It doesn't look like it. None of these guys look like brutes up here. Cool. We're going to box ourselves in right here. And instantly place down our anchor ender chest. I don't know much about bastions or like how they're structured at all. Man, I sure do hear a bunch of brutes. There we go. I'm gonna turn around and make sure nobody can like drop on my head unexpectedly. Nothing good in there. Oh my goodness, there's the chicken. Can someone explain to me why there is a chicken? It's because I'm a chicken. It's because of the way I'm sneaking around this little place. It's not very brave of me. They are very angry. These guys gonna figure out where I am, or 
Oh, there he is. Hello, good sir. I cannot reach you. You cannot reach me. Ooh, some netherite scrap. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's a ghast right there. I thought I saw something white and I was like, surely not. All right, we gotta get to that chest. Obviously. Oh, there's his head. Okay, I'm gonna drop down super quick and then stack up. There we go. Got it. I got it. I got. I got. I got, I got a brute head. Can't do that. Never mind. Now they hate me. Okay. Cool. We're gonna stick our brute head directly in the chest as well. Because that's pretty valuable to me, anyways. There it is! Pig step! Excellent. Okay, I took a quick little free gamey look around too, just to double check because I've been over this by hand a couple of times. I think I've found all the chests here. I need to decide if I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. I've got pig step. That's, that's the thing I really need. Like, we have access to getting the netherite upgrade. Or... Do I keep going? And I think what I'm gonna do is, oh, I should have checked my wings. Oh, my wings are fine. Is I'm gonna like work my way back. And if I spot another bastion on my way back, I will peek my head in, see what I can see. And if I don't find another one, that's totally A-OK. -okay. Oh, that looks like a bastion. That's a huge bastion. My... Is that... Is that just one? All right, poking our head in. We're gonna land here. Hey, guys. It's me. Nothing there. Grab that. Oh, there he is. Hello, sir. Ha ha ha. Oh, there's a brute there. Okay, let's see if we can take him out even from here. There he is. All right. He didn't even respond to that. There's several brutes across the way. Ah, oh, this is scary. Not to mention the dude that's like right down there. All right, we're going to do it. All right, this should protect us from the brutes. This height. They don't seem to have even noticed me yet. Ah, and it wasn't even worth it. Well, I'm not going to poke around for any more. I have done my due braveness in that area anyways. We're going to continue our way home now. I'm struggling to find nether roof access. But, I'll betcha, if I go out this portal, there might be something. And just like that, I'm in our 116 area. It's a lot easier to find where you need to go. Oh my goodness. Jeez. All right then. The things you stumble across on this server. And here we are. Original world spawn, which will take us up to the nether roof. Excellent. Home again, home again. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that felt pretty high risk, low reward, but let's look at what we got. It may well be that like, what I think of as high risk isn't actually as high risk as I think, and I'm just freaking myself out about it. Okay, good. I do have blackstone already in the filter, the gilded blackstone. Uh, the lodestone is obviously going in my shiny's chest. Funny story. So right when I got on this server, there's an old and well-rated bastion right by my um, starter base. And like where I portaled into the nether from. And I found a lodestone there. And 
promptly traded it away for the mini block. It was one of the very first mini blocks I ever got. And I haven't had a lodestone since, so that's fun. But yeah, I don't think it's maybe quite as, like, risky to go into a bastion as I thought it was. Though those brutes can sure take you out real quick. All right, well, that was fantastic. And now I'm going to stash the brute head. And I do want to listen to Pigstep because I haven't actually listened to it in game, I think. Alrighty. Oh! Oh, that is so cool to have in in our repertoire. All right, you know how I've been struggling to like get a functioning tropical fish farm? Well, we've finally done it. I came back out here to the lush cave area and after lots and lots of finagling of both this area and the uh, spawning area down below, we have a pretty functional fish farm. If we pop down here, you can see what I've done. I've, ooh, these are really cool fish. I have um, <clears throat> done just like two tanks of water that flow into this bubble column area. The trickiest thing about this farm is just making sure you get the proper alignment. Yeah, like so. Anyways, I wanted to pop over here and grab a few of these fish because I was working on a little project over here the other night. You know, sometimes when I'm feeling a little bit just tired and overwhelmed by stuff, I'll turn on Minecraft and my favorite playlist and just kind of sit and do Minecraft and music and chill. And this is what I ended up doing. It's something I've been wanting to add to the area since I uh, saw this spot. If we add some fish in here, it can only give it a little bit more life, right? I'm really liking this whole add fish to random places thing, if you can't tell. Anyways, over in here we have a cute little garden with a cute little swing and some cute little mini blocks and lots of different like flowers and a bunch of like 1.20 blocks, right? Like we've got the bamboo, we've got the new flowers in here. The cherry tree was not my project, so I didn't keep working on it, though I may well just go ahead and do that at some point. But we've got a little beehive, we've got lots of little like stepping stones and crossings and stuff like that. And, oh, there's a bee in a boat. Imagine that. Around back here is one of my favorite little things. We've got a little bird's nest. I think we should name this bird, but I don't know what to name him. So, leave your suggestions in the comments. We also just have a little gardener's table with some blocks from the head database and a cute little capybara gardener. And of course, I couldn't do this without adding floating lanterns, like, obviously. So yeah, this was a fun little project that I got very carried away on in the middle of the night one night. And I love it. We've had a bunch of lovely new faces around the channel recently, and I just want to say I am so happy to have you. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Here's the thing. As of me recording this, I have 399 subscribers, which is crazy, honestly. I never thought I'd even get that much, you know? Now, April is my birthday month. Wouldn't it be cool if we had 500 subscribers by the end of April? So I would be absolutely delighted for any interaction you give the channel in these videos in the next month or so. Um, I have never been the type to like share YouTube videos, but hey, if that's your thing, I'd love it if you shared some of these videos. And of course, like, and if you're not subscribed, well, what are you waiting for? Come on, guys. Basically, just do the YouTube things. Maybe a little bit harder than you normally do the YouTube things. Let's see if we can do this. Thanks, guys. But now it's time to get down to business. We need some copper for our detail work, so let's take a quick trip over to the shopping district and see if anybody has some. I also have so much copper ore, I could just go, you know, grab that too. Hello, shopping district, my old friend. Oh, so they have blocks, but not ingots. Okay. 
So I think I actually left most of my copper ore at my starter base. So back we go. Oh, we've got plenty of copper ingots already. Well, before I settle down to the grind, let me show you some of our plans here anyways. So our first detail is going to be these little wall indentations. They're going to have the black concrete just set back behind them by one. Then we go like that. <clears throat> and like that. And we light it. Oh dear. Hmm. I'm betting that mobs will be able to spawn there. And I'm not sure what to do about it. I mean, we could do three candles. That doesn't look terrible. It's not the worst. But it's not... One candle just looks so much better than three. If you have any suggestions for that, uh, let me know. And then we'll put that all along the wall as little alcoves. And then what we'll do is we're gonna go around and add some floating candles around our pillars. And even though three is the superior number of candles, uh, we're gonna use a variety of numbers so that we don't, you know, light things up too much. Okay, it's a bit swirly, a bit spirally, but maybe we'll bring it in and tighten it up a little bit more. Okay, so those are some of the smaller details and then some of the bigger ones. I'm gonna let you just take a look as they come together. So, let's jump into a time lapse. gosh I am so beyond obsessed with this oh my goodness look at the ceiling I'm so obsessed with this we have bits of crying obsidian and bits of uh, glow lichen and then we have nether stars on the ceiling I'm a little bit sad that our simulation distance is so low because they kind of go away after a little bit but also it ends up looking like they're twinkling a little so I'll take it Pearl told me I needed a walkway where people could see the floor from. So now we have these little corridors off to the side. That go up here and you can get a better view on the floor from up here. Everything about this is so magical. I just, I'm obsessed with how it turned out. And the shattered orb here in the center, I... I think there's some lore behind this, because obviously there's magic going on in all of that, right? And I have the headcanon that the center of the orb here used to be Cyan, and then when the corruption hit the castle, it slowly became purple, and when the orb shattered, that's when they knew, like, they needed to uh, suspend the castle in time so that the corruption couldn't spread any farther. That's kind of my you know, lore slash headcanon about the whole the whole situation. And yes, I do in fact mean headcanon. I'm just relaying the story to you guys, okay? I can only tell you as much as I know. 
I'm just gonna like run around in here for like three hours listening to music and vibing. I'm obsessed. Fully, absolutely, completely obsessed because... Wow, I love it. If you can't tell, I don't quite have the words to describe what I'm feeling about this place. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback on this area. What's your favorite detail that we added today? I think it's safe to say that this area is finished. But there is so much more yet to come, and I am so excited to show you all the continuing plans for this build. So, let's get to those 500 subscribers, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Oh.